Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review slash demo on the new Sally Hansen Salon Insta Gel Strips. And this is what the box looks like. These are fairly new. I'm not really sure when it came out. It says that it has two week wear, two easy steps, chip resistant, and has mirror shine. It just comes with a little LED lamp, um, a gel top coat, 16 gel polish strips, um, two cleanser pads, and a cuticle stick and file buffer. So that's what you get in this kit. This retails for around $30, but it might be a little bit less depending if you get it all top with, you know, a coupon or you use your card. I ended up getting mine in the color Red My Lips. I'm going to be telling you a few things that I like about the product and a few things I don't like about the product. So if you want to see what I think about this product and you want to see a tutorial on it at the end, just keep on watching. The things that I like about the product is they have really cute designs. Um, I saw a lace one there that I really liked. It was really, really cute. And before I got one of the um, strips that has the cheetah on it, but my mom did those and I'll attach a picture somewhere on the screen. My mom did those, so it was a little bit easier, and in the video you'll see I'm not very good at this, but, I mean, if I can figure it out, I'm sure you guys can too. This was $30, which might be a little bit pricey, but when you think about it, it's a lot better than spending all the money, you know, always getting your nails filled at the salon, plus, you know, it's really quick. I hate sitting in the salon. I really, oh, it's not relaxing to sit there all day. Another thing I like about this product is you don't have to wait for it to dry. It's not like, you know nail polish where you can't like go to the bathroom because it just messes it up. My nails are very shiny and they're very smooth. I know when I paint my nails there's kind of like ridges in them and I don't like that at all. I like how they're all shiny and pretty and it looks like I just got home from the salon. So some of the things I don't like about this product is it says it lasts two weeks. Okay well today this happened. I did them last night and when I woke up half of it was gone. So, but that kind of annoyed me because you know I hate whenever I do my manicure and then it gets messed up the next day or like the next hour usually. Whenever I put my finger into the little lamp, it kind of like stung, which is weird. It's like, I don't know, I didn't have any cuts, so it couldn't have been the nail polish. But I put my thumb under there and it kind of started to sting, which was kind of painful and I don't like to get hurt. But it was only for a few seconds though, so whatever, it was worth it I guess because I like how they turned out. So my overall opinion of this product, I think it's a great product. It can be a little pain in the butt to, you know, do those strips and everything. But I think it's worth it to save a little money and time. It's very quick. You only have to hold each nail under the lamp for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to be having a little tutorial thing to show you how to do it. This was my first time doing it, so bear with me because I kind of messed up in this one part. But they turned out good, so it's okay. So yeah, I'm just going to roll the clips and then I'll talk to you guys after that. So first you'll just want to start off by washing your hands and making sure they are completely dried. Then I'm going to use the wooden stick that they gave me and push back my cuticles. I like to use the pointy side of the stick to remove any dirt or anything that is stuck in my nails as well. Now I'm just going to use the emery board and just shape my nails, and I like my nails to be squared, so to do that, you'll just want to file them in one direction, not back and forth. Then using the white smoother side of the nail file, I'm going to gently rub that on my nails to remove any shine. Now using a nail cleansing pad from the kit, I'm going to give my nails a good clean just to be sure there is no dirt or anything. And this is very very important because your manicure will not last very long if there is any residue left behind, it'll just kind of lift up, so make sure you do this step. Now taking the little strips, you'll want to match it up with your nail. Then remove the plastic and peel the paper off the back and you just want to place the strip on your nail and smooth it out all over. Then kind of pull it up and stretch it to make it fit perfectly. And forgive me, but this is my first time doing it so I didn't realize it at first, but the tab is facing the wrong way. So make sure that the gray tab is on the top. Then file the top of your nail with the light pink side of the emery board and the excess should just come right off. I found it easier to rip off the gray tab and do it, but that's completely up to you. But you'll just want to repeat the steps on the rest of your nails doing your thumb last. Thank you. 
Now shake the bottle of top coat really good and apply a thin coat to your nail. You want to do one nail at a time by the way and after you painted the top coat on just stick your nail on the little LED lamp and wait for 30 seconds. And the lamp shuts off automatically which is really convenient so just go ahead and repeat this on all of your other nails. Lastly, just go over your nails again with a cleanser pad to remove any residue and you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you did and if you want me to make more of these and if there's any products you want me to try out because, I don't know, sometimes when I find a new product, I kind of want to watch a video on it and to see if they liked it. So if there's any products that you want to try out but you're not sure yet, just let me know and maybe I'll try them out and make a video on it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!